and that is divide and rule. They cannot do it without that. And look at it. We, are, we divided as a world on the fault lines, the manufactured fault lines of religion and culture and, 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 and race and all the rest of it, an income bracket. And, you know, they're picking each section off while the other one looks the, way, the other way and says, it's not my problem. Well, a man said something like this after the Nazi years in Germany. First, they came for the Jews and I was not a Jew, so I did nothing. Then they came for the communists. I was not a communist, so I did nothing. Then they came for the trade unionists. I was not a trade unionist, so I did nothing. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. That is what they're doing now. Oh, it's the Muslims. Let's demonize the Muslims. Let's demonize the poor. Let's demonize people with one bedroom too many when they're on benefits. Let's demonize everyone. Turn the rest of them against them. And when the demonized ones have been picked off, then we'll come for you. This is what is happening. And we need to come together, open the heart, open the mind, irrespective of religion, racing. I don't care. We are all one consciousness having different experiences. Now, now we have got to the key. And the key is that we are infinite awareness, all the same consciousness having different experiences, but we have to be persuaded and manipulated by what that represents, that we are just our name, our body, and our life story. We are not, they are experiences, they're not who we are. When we identify and self-identify, with name, income bracket, a life story, etc., we see the world and ourselves in terms of little me. I'm just little me. I'm just Joe Bloggs, Fred Jones. Who am I? What can I do? But when you get to that point where you expand your awareness, you expand the memory of what we already know, then, then you realize there are no little me's. There's only a perception, here we go again, of little me. And we must keep that perception if we're going to be controlled by the few. We are infinite awareness. All that has been, ever can be, and ever, ever anything could be. The same single awareness. We need to stop fighting each other and come to this conclusion. If we're one consciousness, then anybody else's injustice becomes our injustice. No more looking the other way. You know, it's, it's so simple. We, if, if, you, if you see a problem, you can try to find a solution to it. We're drowning in those bloody things. So why don't we do the sensible thing, which is to remove the cause of the problem? The cause of the problem is we have been having our perception programmed into little me and we've forgotten that we are infinite awareness, all that it can be, is and ever will be. Therefore, to remove the cause of the problem, we start to self-identify again. Who is I? What is the I? No, it's not Charlie Jones. It's infinite awareness, infinite power, infinite love, infinite capacity to dictate our own reality instead of having it dictated to us. This is the power we have. We have the power. That's a house of cards. The people it's manipulating, silly sods, are the ones that are holding it up there. We need to stop doing that and there'll be a very loud bang and it will be over. And this is a major, major step to that loud bang. We're reaching, we're reaching now you know, I don't quote Churchill very much for many reasons, but one thing he said, I think it was in 1942 at the state of the war, he said, this is not the end, nor even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. I suggest that this moment marks the end of the beginning. And that beginning has been to bring vast numbers of people, and that needs to continue, my goodness, 
into an awareness that the world was not like they thought it was. And it's not run by forces that they thought it was run by. That's now reached clearly a point all over the world. And my goodness, I can tell you because I work on it all day, the bloody uh, graph is going skywards in terms of people waking up to their true nature. And now, along with continuing that, we need to go to stage two. And that is to cease to acquiesce and cease to submit with that which we're now aware of. No more fear of authority. No more fear of anything. And you know, people in uniform here, you know, people in uniform here, you have children and grandchildren that are going to have to live in the world that I'm describing and that which you are protecting, not that it needs to be, we don't want any problem, but we don't, uh, we don't do what they do there. We don't manipulate the world to more slaughter and more control and more imposition of the will of the few on the many. You've got to start to realize that you are part of us and start to break down those barriers and stop working for your children and grandchildren's own enslavement by keeping these people from the public eye. And I say that to soldiers, troops, troops. You're going abroad to lands with brown faces and you're devastating them not for your country, but for those that are controlling your country, dictating to your country, and seeking to enslave your country for your children and grandchildren. Put your weapons down. Refuse to do it. This is the next stage where we stop playing a part in the enslavement of ourselves. And you know, there was a there's a, a, a mantra song that I came across a long time ago, which just had four lines, so appropriate now. It went, uh, we are the power in everyone. We are the dance of the moon and the sun. We are the hope that will never hide. We are the turning of the tide. And so we are. And it's so clear today that that tide is starting to move. And. Uh, this is, the, this is the last thing I'll say uh, uh, in terms of where we're at, to put it in perspective. We here outnumber the 140 by a very large margin. Let's just, let's, let's just visualize that. People here in front of me massively outnumber the 140 who are orchestrating the direction of the world on behalf of masters that they are terrified of. Right. Now, take this and imagine 7 billion people and those 140, those 140 are doing that to them. What did I say? What did I say earlier? The world is mad. The world is a complete inversion of itself. And what we need is a peaceful, non-cooperative campaign. The non-comply dance, as I call it. Peaceful because we ain't joining them. You can have revolutions and history is littered with them where violent revolutions re remove a tyranny and what follows is another form of tyranny. You do not create a peaceful society, a loving society, a caring society and a just society with violence. We, we can do this peacefully and we have the numbers. As the poet Shelley said, rise like lions after slumber with unvanquishable number. Shake your chains to earth like dew Wishing sleep have fallen on you. Ye are many, they are few. There, there's, every time the Bilderberg Group meets, they send out messages to the world. We are the ones sending out messages 
from this Bilderberg 2013. And it is, we ain't having it anymore. We know what you're doing. We're not having it. Human race, get off your knees because the lion sleeps no more. Thank you.